The World Health Organization's Global Action Plan aims to improve the lives of people living with dementia. Yet global dementia strategies vary throughout the world, with many countries still without an implemented plan. Sue Saville went to meet some Alzheimer's societies to find out how they're trying to make a difference. Over 50 million people are living with dementia. By the end of this decade, that figure is likely to rise to 82 million, placing an unprecedented strain on health systems globally. Three years after the World Health Organization approved a global action plan on dementia, much remains to be done. But there are positive developments, being championed by Alzheimer's Disease International, finding hope in the age of dementia. It's like bringing together a family of people who are extremely devoted, focused and committed into finding a solution for the great problem that Alzheimer's and dementia pose to our society today, but to do it with an innovative spirit, to do it with a big heart, and to look at the positive things that are coming in absence of a cure, and especially looking at care. We can do so much with care. 60% of people with dementia live in low- and middle-income countries, where populations are increasingly living longer. Seven of those countries are being supported by researchers here at the London School of Economics in a four-year project called STRIDE, strengthening responses to dementia in developing countries. Understanding each country's cultural, political and economic situation is key to strengthening those responses. The WHO wants 146 of their 194 member countries to have a national dementia plan by 2025. As yet, only 33 such plans are in place. National plans are a wonderful tool because they look across all the different aspects of dementia. They look from, from how to reduce the risk to, to how to improve end-of-life care, ideally. So, so they cover lots of different aspects because dementia doesn't only affect, for example, the activities that would fall within one ministry. It falls across lots of different ministries and you need a tool like a national plan to make sure there's a coordinated response. National dementia plans can be transformative. First of all, a government has to be aware, has to take conscience of the fact that dementia is in their country and it's a problem. There are certain countries that are still in denial about dementia. This is so important because there are such big societal changes all over the world that it is about people, it's about citizens that have a right to vote. They have to demand for more to happen or it won't happen. The value of international support, including visits in person to political leaders, cannot be underestimated, says Dr. Ishtar Gavaya from Jamaica. If we in Jamaica did not have the strength, the power of a global organization like Alzheimer's Disease International behind us, we would have never gotten that meeting with the minister. It was really only that we had this global, recognizable voice, this powerful voice, powerful presence saying, this is something that we need to take care of, this is something that we need to address, that we were able to have very shortly after a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the minister. Having an impact, making a difference one step at a time, there are real incremental improvements in dementia diagnosis and care around the world. And until there is a cure for dementia, there is still hope. And throughout the programme, we're going to be talking to societies from different countries to find out about their national dementia plans and how life-changing initiatives are making a difference.